questions 21 through 25 on the 2008 Grade 8 AMC 8. Jerry cuts a wedge from a 6 centimeter cylinder of bologna as shown by the dashed curve, which answer choice is closest to the volume of his wedge in cubic centimeters. So what makes me think that this is exactly half. If I stared at this for a while, that's the conclusion I come to. So I basically got to figure out half of the volume. Well, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height, and I guess I have to divide it by 2. So the radius, well, they tell me the top to bottom is 8, and that is obviously the diameter of that circle, so the radius has got to be 4. So I've got 4 squared. The height is from there to there, and they tell me that's 6. So there we go. So this looks like uh, 16 times 6 divided by 2, so 16 times 3, which is 48 pi. And pi is approximately 3.14, right? So this is going to hover around 150, probably around 150 approximately. So the closest, even without a calculator, you can figure out is definitely going to be C for number 21. For how many positive integer values of n and are both n over 3 and 3n three-digit whole numbers? Okay, first let's just talk about n over 3. n over 3 has to be a three-digit number, right? What are our minimum and maximum three-digit numbers? Well, they're 100 and 999. So if n over 3 is equal to 100, which is the minimum, that means n is 300. If n over 3 is equal to 999, then that means n is equal to 2997. Okay, so this is my range for n so far. But I also have to take into consideration 3n. So 3n again, same story, it's going to be a three-digit number. My minimum is 100, my maximum is 999. If 3n is equal to 100, n is going to be 33.3, .3, but that's not an integer, so n has to be at least 34 in terms of an integer value. If 3n is equal to 999, then that means n is equal to 333. Okay, so I've got another range. I've got to find the common range. So you draw a number line, you put in our values, I got 34, I got 300, I got 333, and I got 2997. So for the first scenario, I got a range between 300 and 297, and for the second scenario over here, I got a range from 34 to 333. So the common is that range. So the common range is between 300 and 333, like that, for n. Okay, but this is involving 34 values of n, but please do not select 34 and move on. Take a little bit of time. Why? Why, can I, why can't I choose 34 and move on? Because we have to get integer values. And not all of these are going to give integer values. For example, if n is 300, n over 3 will be 100, right? That's great. But what if n is 301? n over 3 is not going to be an integer. It's going to be 100.3 approximately. N over, if n is 302, again, n over 3 will not give me an integer. It will be 100.6 approximately. If n is 303, then yes, we'll get an integer of 101. So the only values in this range that will work and give actu actual integers are going to be 300, 303, 306, right? Multiples of 3, 309, dot, 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 all the way until 30, 333. And how many of those do we have? Well, if you do that, and it's pretty quickly you can count, that there's 12 of those. So 12 is the correct answer to this slightly tricky question, number 22. The answer is A. 
and the square ABCE, AF is equal to 2FE, CD is equal to 2DE. What is the ratio of the area of triangle BFD to the area of square ABCD? So this is X, this is 2X, they tell you that in the question. And therefore the full side is 3X. So the ratio that they're looking for is BFD over ABCE. Well, the denominator is pretty quick. We can figure that out 3x squared, right? That's just the, the area of a square. But the top, BFD, is a little bit trickier. We're going to have to take the full area, but subtract from it three triangles. Got to subtract this one, this one, and this one. Subtracting the very smallest one, it's one half base times height, which is x times x. Then subtract two times this guy because that is the exact same dimensions. So 2 times 1 half base 2x times height which is 3x. So this is my formula. So this becomes 9x squared minus x squared over 2 and this looks like 6x squared all over 9x squared. So this looks like 9x squared minus mm, 6.5x squared I'm, I'm mixing decimals with fractions here. Not really the best notation, but that's okay. And that top becomes, what, 2.5? Yeah, 2.5x squared all over 9x squared. The x squareds cancel, and I get just 2.5 over 9. Multiply top and bottom by 2, and you get 5 over 18. There you go. Number 23, the answer is C. 10 tiles numbered 1 through 10 are turned face down. One tile is turned up at random and a die is rolled. What is the probability that the product of the numbers on the tile and the die will be a square? So 1 through 10 are the numbers on the tiles. And I'm assuming that this is a, a fair die. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you got to choose one of these and one of these and get a product. And the product has to be a square. So first and foremost, like all probability questions, what is the total number of possibilities? I'll put that in the denominator. Well, for my top, I have 10 choices. And for my bottom, I've got 6 choices. So 10 times 6. So 60 is basically the denominator. The numerators, of course, are specific condition. And that is that we want the product of this number and this number, the product of those two numbers, to be a square. Well, what are squares? Well, there's 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, like that, right? And how, how far do I have to keep going here? Well, the absolute largest possible product is 10 and 6, and that's 60. So we can never have a product greater than 60. So we don't need to go beyond that because 8 squared is 64. And there's no way we can achieve that. So this is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and 49. All right, let's figure out how do we get each of these. For 1, the only way is if you got a 1 here and a 1 here. Okay, so that's 1, 1. That's the only way. For a 4, if we got a 1 and a 4, that would do it. If you got 2 and 2, that would do it. And if you had 4 and 1, that would also do it. So we got 1, 4, 2, 2, and 4, 1. For 9, a 3 and a 3 would do it. And a 9 and a 1. So don't miss that one. So we got 3, 3, and we have 9 and a 1. For 16, let's see. 4 and a 4, that would definitely do it. And 8 and 2, that would give you a product of 16. So 4 and 4, 8 and 2. For 25, I think 5 and 5 are the only ways of doing that product. For 36, 6 and 6, obviously, that's the first one. And don't miss also 9 and 4. 9 and 4 will also give you 36. And I think that's it. For 49, I don't think there's any way of getting 49. 7 times 7, but there's no 7 here. So that's it. Let's count these. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
So there you go, that's my probability, 11 over 60, which for number 24 is choice C. Margie's winning art design is shown. The smallest circle has radius 2 inches, with each successive circle's radius increasing by 2 inches. Approximately what percent of the design is black? Okay, so we want black over total. So the first thing I'll do is the total. This radii is 2, this is 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. These are the radii. And they tell me that in the question. It starts with 2 and then it goes up by 2 for each successive circle. Okay. So the total is going to be pi r squared where r is 12. Right? Now we have to figure out the black sections of this art design. All right. So the first one is this sm small circle, so that's pi r squared, and the r is 2. Then we've got this one. How do I do that? Well, I do that by basically taking the area of that and subtracting from it the area of the white circle. So it would be pi 6 squared minus pi 4 squared, like that. Okay. And the very same thing for this black part, we take the area of that and subtract from it that inner circle. So that would be pi times 10 squared minus pi 8 squared, like this. So this looks like it's going to give me 4 pi plus 36 pi minus 16 pi plus 100 pi minus 60 4 pi all over 144 pi so the numerator looks like it will be let's see here 4 pi plus 20 pi plus 36 pi all over 144 pi and the numerator therefore becomes 60 pi all over 144 pi, and then we can, of course, cancel out the pi's, and you just get 60 over 144, and that is approximately 42%. Therefore, number 25, the answer is A.